Is the Gap Sound RPO course by Brent Deerman worth it? Let's find out. Hey coach, Coach Mackin here and welcome to my channel. This is the first time visiting. Let me tell you what it's about. Football, offense, defense, special teams, interviews. If you like that, stick around because you're going to love this. This is the next uh, review that I'm going to do on the course. Now, remember, I love getting football courses, but there's a lot of good ones out there. There's a lot of trashy ones out there. I am doing this to help you out. Now, today, we're going to talk about Brent Deerman. If you don't know who Brent Deerman is, he's been at the Division Three level, Division Two. He's been all over the place. He just left uh, Kansas. He was their offensive coordinator, and now he's at Middle Tennessee State. What he does, he's worked under Gus Malzahn and he has done that stuff. This course right here is a part of something that he did earlier this year, 2021, Lawrence First or whatever, and it's Gap Sound RPO. So I'm just going to switch over to my screen and we're actually going to get this course. All right, so you have, as you can see, it's 1995. Haven't purchased anything yet, so let's go ahead and purchase it. And again, this is all of my money. If there is something that I do that I've actually been given to, we will talk about that later. But right now, it is just straight up my money. So we're going to pause it right now. All right, we just got it. Gap Sound RPOs by Brent Deerman. Let's jump into it. The first thing I noticed when I just jump right into it is it doesn't seem like there's many. There's only six chapters. He's going. It starts right off the bat. There's none of those flashy lights or anything like that. You know, the overlays or anything like that. Just right into it. Let's talk about the different kind of videos that you have inside of them. You have the buck sweep. You have the boundary zone go, which is, if you don't know what that is, the boundary zone is to the left side or the closest side to the sideline. You have inside zone flats. You have the split zone glance. The glance is the third level read. I'm a huge fan of the third level read. Could never really get to third level when we're actually doing it at the high school, but if he shows any kind of way how to do it easier, he goes over that, and we're going to dive into that, and then, then he has the lock ISO snack. So I'm going to dive into this, and then we'll come back, and I'll give you my thoughts. All right, so I finished the course. As you can see, six out of six lessons completed. Um, let's talk about the good. Let's talk about the bad. The bad first, because I always like to end up on the good. Uh, number one, it says it's a gap sound RPOs. And in my mind, when I got it, I was thinking things like buck sweep, counter, uh, trap, things of that nature that are actually gap schemes. You only get two minutes of the buck sweep, I think. Yes, right at two minutes. Damn, I'm good. Uh, and then the rest are inside zones. So to me, I was thinking gap scheme because I am getting into gap schemes wanted to learn a little bit more about the buck sweep because that is where Gus Malzahn comes from the buck sweep kind of stuff that's it as you could tell also it is the minutes here you get about 13 minutes free and then you're spending 20 bucks for two minutes 14 what's that 14 and 8 I should be a math person that's 22 about 32 minutes for $20. Uh, $20. I would like for him to go a little bit in more in depth and talk about a little bit more things than just 32 minutes. Now, hey, I understand he is a big time defensive coordinator, I mean, offensive coordinator. And he, this is for a charity right here, Lawrence First and Goal. I get that. But he just, he, he sprinkled a little bit of stuff on it that you're like, oh, this is good. I want more. And then he glosses over it. Okay. So that is the bad. Now, the good, he knows his crap, man. This is a smart dude. And if you don't know that, if you haven't been following uh, Coach, you kind of been living under a rock. He has a lot more uh, books and courses out. This was just a little sprinkle, but he goes over some good things. He has a, several good coaching points inside of this presentation that are unbelievable. He talks about a lot of cool things. My favorite one that I really enjoyed was him talking about the split zone glance and how he teaches his quarterbacks, hey, this side is going to be the left side or the right side is going to be pre-snap, the other side is going to be post-snap, and gets in the mind frame of what he the quarterback needs to know when he's doing these kind of RPOs. That is something I have not been very good at coaching, and I've just picked up a couple of different coaching points on what I need to do to help my guy in the pocket. So what do I give it? Do I give it a B team? Do I give it a JV, a varsity, or a college? I would give this a JV rating. And the reason why is because 
if you already know a lot about RPOs, this this course is not going to give you anything. I mean, besides me just telling you that one little nugget, you're not going to get anything from this. If you were just dipping your toe into the RPO world, then this is something you need. You can get a baseline of how to do it, especially with the inside zone, if that's what you're doing. So if you already know a lot about it, don't get this course. If you want to know, if you're coming in this brand new and you want to know a lot about RPOs, then this is the perfect course for you. If you want it, there's a link in the description down below or in the comments. And hey, if you want to see more reviews, click them right here and I'll talk to you later.